Hi everybody, it's good to be back. I hope you're glad to have me back. Um, I wanted to jump on here because A, it's obviously been a while. I'm sorry about that. I um, had a few health issues that got in the way, but I think um, we're up and running now. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Um, first of all, okay, there is, there is um, there are assumptions out there that Barry Morphew has a girlfriend. Are any of us surprised? I, I truly don't think so. Um, sadly, I think that we might be a little surprised that it's taken this long to come out. But other than that, I don't think any of us are really surprised about this allegation. Now, let's keep reminding ourselves that this is an allegation. Now, I don't want to say her exact name on here. I'm sure that most of you are very well aware of it. Um, I'm going to try to put a picture up right here. And then I will probably just refer to her as Show or Show Show. So let's get into talking about Show Show. It's now I've done a lot of digging on Show Show. So if you hear my papers flipping, or God forbid I have to um, look down to read, I'm awake. I'm just I'm just reading to go over to make sure I don't give you any wrong information. So, show show. Show show will be how old? Let's see. Show show will be we'll see what 52 50 51 here on the 3rd of March. Uh now her parents, I don't know if she was born in California, but as a young child, she's obviously lived in California at one time. Now, I don't want to get into too much, you know, about her life um, that doesn't really pertain to much of this, um, unless I'm trying to show exactly how these birds of a feather flock together. Now, as far as... I understand Shosho is the friend of GD, Mr. Davis, is the cleaning lady, her friend is the cleaning lady of Mr. <coughs> Davis, or I've also heard from a very, very strong source that I really tend to believe that she was the Morpheus cleaning lady. Either one a little too close for comfort. So then, of course, if this is the case, it makes you wonder how long has this been going on? And did this play a role in the monetary issues that I think have also been the main catalyst in this probable case against Barry Morphew. Of course, he's innocent until he has the cuffs on him and in jail. So, like I said, it's all alleged. But Show Show was either the housekeeper for the Morphews or her friend was the housekeeper of GD. Now, she has a nursing background. It shows that her nursing certifications are expired. There is one, a uh, practical nurse, that doesn't show it's expired. So I guess there's a possibility that she could be working as a nurse. I'm not sure. But I also read on Reddit. If you guys want to go over there and take a look and read it for yourself, a friend that was speaking out for 
<laughs> let, let me make sure I get this straight so it's not too confusing. A friend was speaking out, so her friend didn't have to on Reddit in doing it for her and said that Barry Morphew is now taking show show to church with him to the Morphew's church where his wife less than a year ago went and prayed with him. That's pretty disgusting. You know, and, God, I hope it's not true. But I can't say that it's not. And like I said, the other information that I have gotten comes from a very, very, very reputable source. Now, Shosho also has a little bit of mm, a criminal background, I guess we shall say. She not only has a criminal background and was charged with something. I might go into a few of those details, but not many. Um, she was charged with something and broke her, viol or violated her, and broke her probation and got in trouble again. Hmm, it's starting to seem, like I said in the beginning, birds of a feather flock together, and it seems like all of them surrounding, all the people that are surrounding this man are either getting in trouble, have been in trouble. They just don't seem to be maybe the best character of people, to put it nicely, I guess. Now, there are a couple of things that I wanted to I wanted to say about it and also about her as far as her charges and she was also made to pay back her ex-fiance for stealing from him allegedly and breaking into his house. Now, like I said, that came from a very, very, very good source. So, I'm wondering if that could have possibly been the trouble that Shosho got into. Um, it's probably the trouble sh that Shosho got into and then broke her probation and was in trouble again. But there is also a civil case that was from a civil judgment anyway. And it was over $100,000. So, um, like I said, this is all I'm going to say alleged. Um, even though I have proof for all, almost all of it except for what I told you about when it comes to, you know, the Reddit and stuff. But I just want to make sure that everyone knows that this is all alleged just to keep me out of trouble. <laughs> now, her, like I said, her nursing licenses, she did not keep them very long, it seems. She had a CNA at one time, and she also had the, um, what was it, the practical nurse, I don't know, I don't know what that would be considered, if that would be considered an L, I wouldn't think it would be considered an LPN or an RN, that would be a registered nurse, or I'm not real sure, so she's got different kind of uh, CNA and nursing assistant degrees and the practical nurse degrees but it seems that she only kept them valid for maybe three or four days at a time. Now one of the things that I want to get to is the fact that she has lived I don't necessarily want to say in the area but she has lived in you know, some of the states that are within the vicinity of Colorado. 
and she has lived in many different cities in Colorado as well. But the home that is showing to be a property that she has possessed at one time, but it doesn't show who the current and past owners are like it normally does, but it shows the past owner like it normally does, but the home that she had, I'm assuming, bought when she was married to one of her many husbands, I guess she would say. She has multiple, I think it was four last names I counted, unless one of them was a misspelling or maybe possibly someone tried to go by an alias. I don't know. Um, probably more like a misspelling, I'm hoping. Uh, but it went on to show the different names. Well, then on the home that her and her ex-husband married, it was a decent, nice, middle-class home that was, I can't remember the exact price of it. I'm not sure that I wrote it down. It was a hundred and maybe, was it $30,000? Somewhere in there. And then... The next thing you know, right around the time that she is associated with Barry, there is a cash purchase made of a four hundred and was it fifty four thousand one hundred forty five thousand dollar home. So you're talking about over four hundred thousand dollars that's crazy so my question is let me four hundred twenty five thousand now it shows the past owner and it shows this as being one of her assets but there is a cash purchase in October of 2020 well that sure makes me wonder because did she sell that home since it's not listing any of it's not listing the current owner and it's not listing the previous owners except for the one man and that name that's up there is usually the very last owner so she also had different addresses during the time that it was owned during those dates. So I'm not exactly sure how she went from such a modest middle class home to a $425,000 home and also was it her cash purchase or did someone purchase it with cash from her? Either way, how in the world, especially moving, because any of us that have moved and tried to get any kind of credit know that you have to live in a place for a certain amount of time to establish that you know, the, the residency and that permanency. So you have to, um, sorry guys, it's cold and my nose is running, but um, you have to establish that. So how in the world, if she purchased it, did she establish it that quickly? And in, in, the, um, in the area of Colorado that she bought in, established residency that long and also if not if that is her home how in the world did she get that kind of cash and to make a purchase like that unless god forbid she recently lost a loved one 
and I hope she didn't lose a loved one. I mean, that'd be terrible. And it would also make me think, oh, is, is this becoming an M.O. with someone we know? You know, go after go after her inheritance money type thing. So I think there's a lot to learn about Show Show, and I think there is a lot more digging to do. And one of the last things that I wanted to bring up was outside of Show Show filing for bankruptcy and being able to have this um, half million dollar home on the Coco Nail Salon, or I'm sorry, tanning salon manager. Uh, but I also want to bring up her criminal charges. Now, Show Show also has a civil case that she was ruled against for over $100,000 allegedly. Now, she was charged with uh, a couple different crimes. I'm not sure what one of them was, but she allegedly broke into an ex-fiance's house and stole from him. So... She had done something, I'm assuming that, allegedly, and she was put on probation or parole, and then she broke that, so she was charged again, and allegedly, even though I've got proof, allegedly, so it looks to me as if Show, show, birds of a feather flock together, considering she was either the Morpheus or GD's, or her friend was GD's housekeeper, or she was the Morpheus housekeeper. Either way, it seems that she ran in the same circles. You know, the same circles of the people that have either been in some kind of legal trouble surrounding Barry now that this has been going on, or the type of people that have that sort of character that would do that. And it goes to show what kind of character, even though we had all kind of assumed, that BM has. Like I said, I don't feel comfortable putting her picture on here, but there is... There are a few more things, but I think I'm going to hold off on saying them just to make sure that, um, you know, I'm, I'm checking it pretty good regardless. So I have more. I just don't want to say a whole big ton of it. But also one more thing that I wanted to throw out there is that she is friends with the pastor's wife at the local church. So if any of you are possibly doubting what was said on Reddit, then um, I don't know, maybe look into it a little bit more. But here we go again. I mean, it's been quiet too long. Everyone should have known that something was going on behind the scenes. I want to let you guys know that I am hoping to do a live. I know I said that before, but things came up, guys. I got sick and had to have surgery. But there's also a case that I have been very interested in. I think I mentioned it before, Graham uh, good friend of mine's grandmother had gone missing many years ago. So I've been helping her just try and put some things together with that. And I will be making a video about that because we have something really, really exciting coming up with it. Only the snowstorm has kind of set us back that we've had here. I hope everybody is safe, warm, and I hope everyone is getting their electricity turned back on. See you guys. Jill, the private investigator.